Heavy electric locks click and the old bars screech as they slide out of the way of the vault door. The heavy blast door of Vault 101 grinds as it begins to open for the first time in 200 years. You shield your eyes from the sun as you step out of the vault, ready to recolonize the surface. But the world beyond the door isn't as empty as expected, and it's anything but safe. This is the world of Fallout, a world focusing on the bleak, comical, and paradoxical resilience of humanity's tenacious ingenuity when up against insurmountable adversity in the face of abject desolation and in our pursuit of murdering each other in the most spectacular ways possible. Exploring human nature and how the desperation to survive often blurs the line between good and evil. Now journey back with me to the year 1997. Black Isle Studios, a division of Interplay Entertainment, presents to the world a role-playing game like no other, Fallout. Set in a post-apocalyptic world, the game introduced us to a future where society is struggling to survive in underground vaults. The game's success led to sequels, each one delving deeper into its dangerous dystopia. The games so far delve into several different time periods after the Great War, a fictional Sino-American war, which in 2077 escalates into a full-blown nuclear conflict. They range from Fallout 76, whose storyline begins in uh, 2102, just 25 years after the bombs fell, to Fallout 4, set in 2287, a full 210 years after the apocalypse. The Fallout series didn't stop at just being a collection of fantastic games. It evolved into a cultural phenomenon, inspiring a flood of fan art, cosplay, and even academic papers. The series' iconic Pip-Boy, the futuristic retro aesthetic, and the eerie yet nostalgic tunes of the Ink Spots have become symbols of a world that gamers all over the world have come to love and live in. The series has also had its share of ups and downs. The first game in the series was originally conceived to run on the GURPS, or GURPS, role-playing system. But Steve Jackson, the creator of the GURPS system, took issue with the game's violent content. GURPS is a generic universal role-playing system designed by Steve Jackson Games. Uh, Post-apocalyptic world, there's been a nuclear war, the planet's pretty much been devastated. The storyline of the world is that you grew up in a vault, uh, you're the third generation of uh, Vault Dweller. You've been in the vault for all your life and you're 20 years old and the people who've been living in the vault have been there for 80 years. Some of our heads were done um, as clay models, which we then uh, used a 3D laser scanner to make a model and import them into Lightwave where we animated them and provided facial textures and facial features. This spurred Black Isle Studios to create its own, now well-known, S-P-E-C-I-A-L, or Special System. Eleven years later, Fallout 3 was released in 2008 and was hailed as a masterpiece which is, with its immersive open-world gameplay and compelling narrative. It's a classic and still the favorite of many fans of the series. However, Fallout 76, an ambitious multiplayer version of Fallout, was criticized for a host of issues, including its lack of a strong storyline and several technical glitches. But true to the spirit of the series, it survived and fought back, introducing updates and improvements that helped it reclaim its place in the heart of the Fallout community. And now the Fallout universe is set to expand beyond the confines of the gaming world. A Fallout TV series, courtesy of Amazon Prime, is set to be released on April 11th. Fans are eager to see how this beloved dystopian world translates to the small screen. Based on the trailers, it's expected to be a visually stunning and true-to-source depiction of the world. In this video, we've briefly journeyed through the history of the Fallout series, from its humble beginnings to its current status as a legendary game and cultural phenomenon, and the buzz of anticipation surrounding the soon-to-be-released Fallout TV series. The Fallout series is more than just a game, it's a testament to the power of storytelling, monument to human resilience in the face of adversity, and a beacon of hope reminding us that even the most desolate landscapes, life finds a way. 
The fallout phenomenon is far from over and we can't wait to see where it takes us next. As we step out of the vault and into the future, one thing is certain. In the world of fallout, the only limit is the horizon. Well, that and the high radioactivity. And maybe the death clause. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.